Hi, uh, this is Friendship Simulator. This is a, uh, this is kind of a, uh, uh, an attempt, an experiment. Uh, experimental stuff we're doing here, folks. Yeah, I, I don't know if this is gonna go well, because I don't know if Brian's gonna enjoy this at all. I want to play it. It's one of my favorite games. It's in my top three games, along with, uh, Jet Set Radio Future and, uh, Castlevania Symphony Night. This is my second favorite game, if I had to place it somewhere. But it's an RPG. It's a very popular RPG. It's my favorite RPG. But it's that's the thing. It's it's a turn-based Japanese RPG. And um, yeah, it's, I'm sure you guys might have figured it out already. I love this game. This game. This game was probably my favorite game for the longest period of time. And um, yeah, no, it's uh, gorgeous. The volume's up really high, by the way, on the TV, I realize. Yeah, sorry. Um, I kind of want to let it play. I know that's stupid, but um, I want to let the song play. But I have I have some things I want to talk about. Um, I think. You know, I talked about in the last video. We we started playing the Resident Evil playthrough today. That was the last video. We finished the like third Resident Evil video. We did um uh we did Contra Hardcore, which that did not we didn't do get that far in that game. I don't know if we'll continue with that game. I might want to, but sometimes we'll just do that, do like like one off games. I know that's something that a lot of Let's Players do, is they'll do this one video and just be like, okay. Um Uh But yeah, and we had just finished the Symphony of the Night before that, the week before that, so we're done with that, finally. I haven't posted any of those videos yet, but I'm going to be posting them quicker. I'm also going to start trying to post maybe once every other day, I think, if I can. I'm being really lazy about it instead of posting in bulk. We'll see. It's, it's going to be sporadic how I'm posting. But um, to everyone who's, like, continuing to watch, whether you be my friends or people that know me or people that follow me on Tumblr or whatever, if you're just finding it, thanks for watching. I, I, I really appreciate it. I, uh, I make jokes and whatever but like and yeah this is just a hobby i'm not trying to make money off this or anything if there's ads on my video sorry some company uh like did co uh, copyright took the uh, copyright control of it or whatever and enabled the ads you know how youtube works now it's stupid and I'm, I'm not really wanting to dispute it just yet so uh until i figure it out more how to do that but anyways um this game is beautiful this game this game, I think I have more nostalgia for than any of my other favorites. I, I love this. Final Fantasy VII is just... Uh. Yeah, this, this... This game destroyed me. Like, I love this game. It's weird that it, it cuts off before then. But anyway, so we're going to try this, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, it predates the Square Enix merger. Yeah, it does. Thank God. Even though... Both were great companies, but once they became Square Enix, they they were still making some really good. I mean, they still make good games. So like the Dragon Quest is still good, and Final Fantasy XV was was pretty was pretty great. It wasn't like the best Final Fantasy, but I liked it, especially once they like finished it. Oh, I don't have any. Do I not have any save files? Have I not played this version? Oh, that's right. I got the PS4 one right after this, and I played this on PSP. Okay. Anyways, uh, we're gonna get started. So yeah, hopefully. It's 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 fair. Like this is not the most fun game to watch if you're not into RPGs. So we'll see if Brian how Brian feels about it. So we're gonna try it. I would I personally would love to beat this. There's no reason to get mad at Brian, by the way. Like it's just it's just. But we're gonna see. Ideally, we'll get through it, but we're gonna see. So let's get started. That's a Super Mario World sounding musical note there. Oh, this this game has some of the best sound designs. No, you, this is how I got into Uematsu. I got obsessed. Like, uh, this is some of the this is the best sound and music design of like of any Final Fantasy for sure. Of any RPG, I, I just don't know. And that's including like Mother Two. I mean Earthbound. Uh, this is I like this game better. I just it's the best. Oh, I just love this game. Um. I'm gonna have to read stuff. I'm not gonna read it in funny voices. Sorry, I hate funny voices, so. Um, 
at least I'm reading it. <laughs> you know, like, a lot of people don't. I know Dan was like, oh, I'm going to clip through, like, a Resident Evil playthrough. He was just like, I remember I just saw him, like, going through files, and he was just all like, oh, we just skip through everything. I'm calling her Ares. I'm not calling her Aerith. I'm just letting you guys know. It's not about who's right or wrong. It's just about what she is in this translation. And, uh... I know her as so. Goblin's Bar. Loveless. My Bloody Valentine. Yeah. Did you not know it was the opening of this game? It was the remake of it? I did not know that. It was so direct? Yeah. No. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I love this game. No, there's no update in the remake. We haven't heard in a while. I uh, I don't think they're gonna cancel it. I, I still I'm at a point where I don't think they're gonna cancel it, but um, we'll see. It might be horrible. I don't know. I it, I don't know what they meant by the episodic thing. It, but it meant they were just gonna make it into three games. That's what I heard last. But I don't want to talk about that right now because we're playing the good Final Fantasy. I mean, I guess we can talk about it because I'm actually excited about it, but. This, this Final Fantasy is great, so it doesn't matter because I will always have this one. Da, 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 da. Come on, newcomer, follow me. Um. Z Potion. Well, I'm gonna have to change the battle speed and do some stuff for you. So I can go faster for Brian. Yeah, we're really gonna need to change the battle speed. Oh my god. Thankfully, there's no save ribbons or uh, ink ribbons here, so we can save whenever we want, as long as it's a save point. Come on, let me. <laughs> Oops. No, I wasn't joking. I, I, I just didn't expect it to slow to be to the right. gonna do that I mean it's beautiful but this is this is gonna hurt right we don't want to do this but it's so pretty it's pretty look at it it's pretty here I'll turn the red down you know what? I'm getting used to it is this is this does this hurt your eyes you're fine you think it's okay all right we're gonna go beautiful beautiful pink for love this final final love seven see potion Big as well. Used to be in soldier, all right. Not every day you find one in a group of pages. It's this is making it hard to read. I'll, I'll put it back. I'm sorry, guys. Well, used to be in soldier, all right. Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Said Jesse. Big says, hold it, Jesse. Hold it, Jesse. He was in soldier. Yeah, I'm having trouble reading. He quit them, and now he's one of us. Big says, didn't catch your name. I'm not going to say people's names. I'm going to leave them as Cloud. No, I'm not. That's stupid. I'm going to name him, um...
No, I... I'm trying to think of something. Um... So you ever get those points when you're doing a Let's Play and you're like, I want to come up with a cute name, a cute funny name, and then you just like... Like, a minute has passed and you're just all like... I don't have anything. And so then you're trying to make a joke out of it to gain yourself extra time, but you've been just thinking about the joke too much, but it's still nothing's coming. I got pineapple. He's a spiky pineapple head. I got, um... A durian. Aren't durian spiky? How you spell durian? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look this up. We might have to reset. <laughs> I don't want to have the main character's name spelled wrong. It's gotta be durian. It's gotta be spelled that way. Yeah, durian. Alright, durian's a good name. Durian says durian. Durian, huh? I'm. He's big. He says already. I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. The hell are you all doing? I thought I told you to never move in a group. Our targets in the north make a reactor. We'll meet the bridge in front of it. Next soldier, I don't trust you. Barrett, we're gonna name you. Barrett's probably my favorite character, actually. Uh, oh, Barrett, he's so cute. Um, we're gonna name him... What would be a good Barrett name? We're gonna do a fruit theme. Is it just gonna be a food theme, or is it gonna be a fruit theme? Could it be veggies? He's cute like a potato, but is potato a little bit, like, too insulting for him? potato. I love potatoes. Potato says, if you push the directional button while pushing the cancel button to run. Earlier Mark X. That didn't make any sense. That was a big deal. I remember when I saw that, I just didn't know what I was doing. When this came out, I was, I had an N64 around then, and I remember being like, oh, N64 looks so much better than PlayStation, and then this game happened, and I was like looking at things like that, and I was all like, oh. <laughs> like, yeah, not that I'm saying that the N64 did have overall better graphics than PlayStation, but like, it couldn't do this, it couldn't do those like full motion videos mixed with, uh, with polygons in them. Config. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the. How do I? Can I go back to default? Yeah, I think that's what. Because that's kind of what I was doing. To begin with. Yeah. No, I don't think that's what you do. But. Oh, that's it, that's it. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, but to finish my conversation when I was talking in Resident Evil. Yep, got hit. Yep, got hit. This game's not too hard. You kind of just hit the action button. I'm not going to call Tifa Melon. I'm just not going to call her that. So don't be weird. I'm going to call her something cute. Like, maybe like, um... Like, like, strawberry or something? Or like Barry. <gasps> Barry would be a great name for her. Let's go talk to Wedge. I secured the escape badge. It's captured in the mission, Barry. 
Jeez, we're really gonna blow this huge curse up? It's up to the sea. This one so much more than other RPGs is, to be fair, it's easy and it goes by so fast, it's almost like you're just waiting a little bit and just like pounding attack, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like an action game, kind of. It's not. It's like incorrect and I know people, really, it's not like an action game, you idiot, but like comparatively. Potato, yo, this is first time in your reactor? I'm not going to say the names anymore. No, after all, I didn't work for Shinra. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just hurry. That's it. You're coming with me from now on. <laughs> Talk to her. Jesse, Biggs and I got the code for the star. Thanks, Biggs. Go to center. People worth skip lives just for this code. I see it's the button. Code is still there. That's what she says. She just opens it. Um, push that button over there. Switch it. I'm gonna be talking a lot. I'm gonna be saying the dialogue a lot. Sorry about that. I mean, it's just it's not spoken dialogue. So what can I do? Little by little, the reactors drain out all the life, and then it'll be that. It's not my problem. Ooh, the planet's dying, Durian. The only thing I care about is finish this job before security and little guards come. Potato, you're right to be angry. Punch him. Punch that Durian right in his Durian. I should have called him Pineapple, because Durian literally, or Potato literally calls him Pineapple. Spiky Pineapple Head, I think. But Durian's cuter. I don't, want to call him pineapple. I don't even know if Pineapple would fit. Here's the first glimpse of the battle theme. Oh, he has magic. Yeah, great. All that time for three damage cards. Probably should have attacked the gun first, but we're gonna get it before it attacks us. I'm dancing right now, sorry. I really like this, this theme a lot. I think it's because it's kinda got a, like, a Christmas vibe to it. I don't know why. It's like weird. It's not. It's not intentional, but it's got like a slaybo thing to it. But it's like better than the Christmas music. I'm sorry. I'm just. This is gonna be one of those things where every new song comes out, I'm gonna be like, I love this song. I love this song in particular. Oh, and this song. I love this song. Push the OK button from the ladder. Grab onto it. After that, use the direction of the move. You know, I'm gonna not talk. I'm not gonna say uh, uh, instructional text. I'll just tell you that it's instructional text, it's not important. Receive potion. No, oh, she's just saying something. I'm sorry. I think we're coming up to our first save point. These guys are cool. Very wiggly wiggly. I'm saving my music. My magic. My music. talk about the art style of this game, the super deformed, um, uh, but 3D rendered, like, but, but they're clearly going for, like, a 3D version of the sprites from older games. It's just perfect. And, like, honestly really detailed. Like, if you look at their arms when it zooms in on the, like, well, they're, they're gonna die. That's when I can actually get to see it, but, like, back if you rewind the video, back when you saw the guy attack, you can see his, um, 
I don't think it's Japanese. I think it's just fake language. But um, on his arms and stuff, it just looks really amazing. A lot of my favorite movies are like uh, Blade Runner and Akira, so obviously I'm gonna love this game. Like the obvious, like when I went into this, I was just like, oh, that's so good. But actually, I think I was into this before I was into those things, even though I watched Blade Runner before that. I, think. I was really young. Guess right, right, I don't need to worry about ink ribbons. We have a lot of save points, so we'll be okay. Can't go in here. away from a back attack, they'll, like, turn around. And it's, like, stupid, but I always do that. I'm like, no, I'm a back is going to turn. Even though I, feel, I still think you take the save. If there are damage penalties, I don't remember. It might be just speed penalties. Like, in terms of, like, not going to Yeah, you saw right there. Uh, it, you saw that, like, detail on his arm. These guys look really cool. probably point out that uh, his sword is completely ripping off of Berserk. But that's cool. Influenced by, I would say. See, restore materia. Which, sadly, you can't equip right now because we don't have the materia in my hand. Bear has magic, not you. Wait, do you? Do I have magic? I do have magic. What the hell? I haven't been using it. Or am I not, is it, was it not active until? Anyways, so it doesn't matter. When we blow up this place, this ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Durin, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Durin, you set the bomb. Just, just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull them. I'll have you my guess. You let the guy you don't trust. Alright, here's a... Watch out! This is just a reactor. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Durin? Hurry up. Yeah, sorry. Um, so that was a thing. That was one of the first times when the translation really failed. Because that was supposed to be him having a sort of, like, breakdown flashback. And you had no idea. It just it seemed weird. Like, it didn't... It wasn't explained well. Heads up, here they come. Yes, it is the first boss fight, but it's kind of a tutorial. It has a very, one of the few, most confusing, um, texts, uh, uh, tutorial texts that confused a lot of kids. So I don't remember if Ice actually deals more damage. Big shot. I'm gonna try Ice next. But that might have crit, so I can... Potato, be careful. Attack while its tail's up. It's gonna counterattack with its blazer. So a lot of people thought that that meant you're supposed to attack when its tail's up because it was going to counterattack with its blazer. But I just limit break was his tail laser I'm not paying attention okay so you're not supposed to though oh, I can't believe I did that 
I was like, no, let me do, let me do my limit break. <laughs> please, please, break Tequila. If I lost the tutorial boss, I would just be like, I would probably just be like, I guess we're not playing Final Fantasy VII. Um, actually, I'm, I'm joking. I, I don't actually get embarrassed by playing badly. I'm giving gang crap, but like, with Resident Evil, but like, it doesn't matter. I don't. Really Come on, let's get out of here. Get my set. Probably should have used lightning, but it's okay. Oh, I just realized that, uh... Uh, there isn't going to be a lot of dialogue right now, it's me leaving. Um, so, uh, I'm trying to think, what else have I, what other records did I get? I already mentioned that I got, um, oh, you have to always remember to get Jesse's foot. Are you kicking the back of the chair, Brian? Okay, sorry. Uh, she just said my leg got, I, he said, are you okay? She said my leg got stuck. Thanks. Sorry, it was Play it safe, I should probably really, uh, give myself a nice little heal. This is one potion, that's fine. And we got three potions. Can you get on there? You can always take it. It's not always like to get on there. Um, so yeah, I said I got, um, the Tyco, or the newest Tyco, the newest uh, Gold Craft, the newest uh, Come Trues. I went back to the where I was going to go. Um, I got uh, the first um, Smash Pumpkins album, Gish. I love that album, I never had it. Um, I got uh, the most recent Boris album. Uh, I forget what it's called, sorry. Um, it's called like Nice or something weird like that. I don't know. Anyways, um...
Yeah, we had all that. We had like six minutes to get to do a minor puzzle. And... Wait a second. Oh, I forgot to get something. Because it, it, it looks a little bit different. So we run here. Get into a fight. I, 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 I think I played Symphony of the Night more than this, but this might be the game I've played other than like Symphony of the Night and other Castlevania games. I think I've played Final Fantasy VII more than any other. Uh, maybe, Mar maybe, maybe Super Mario World and Donkey Kong Country. They may be up there too. And I've played uh, Earthbound quite a bit. But I've played Earthbound. I've started Earthbound a lot. Final Fantasy VII. So many times. There's not gonna be a lot of uh I'm not gonna be forgetting a lot of things in this game. Definitely. Like if I was fair, if I was mixing in a lot of nostalgia and stuff like that, this would probably be my favorite game. Ever made. And I know it's like a common choice, but there's a reason for that. I mean I don't So influential, and it was influenced by so many Kurt like things around them, so many good things. Jesse. I hope they go into more Jesse stuff in, uh, in the uh, remake. Because that's that's another thing. Uh, they said they're going to expand a lot of the stuff in the remake. I know I said I didn't want to talk about it, but there's it has promise. It could be cool. If you can view this as the main game and the remake as just a um, as its like own like separate thing, like kind of a retelling and not let it take away. If you know you're taking a different thing, you also, if you go into it with low expectations, which I am, um, I think I'm gonna enjoy it a lot, especially if they do retell. Like, supposedly they're gonna take one game and split it into three full-size games, and they're gonna add a bunch of stuff. So hopefully that's gonna be how it is. Hope it's not gonna be like episodic, because I fucking hate episodic games, it's stupid. But uh, we'll see. Anyways, it, it will help that this game has already been told, so it's not like they can fuck around the story that much. They can't like, have it be like a episodic drama story because that would have been horrible but you know anyways big says that should keep the planet going at least a little longer yeah says wedge potato says ellipses that's an ellipses right is that what that is this is okay let's uh, everyone get back <laughs> such a weird world <laughs> Which is cute. Everyone's cute. They're all cute. Alright, let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Section 8 Station. I'm sorry. Renziverse at Section 8. Uh, split up and get on the train. Hey. It's out your money. Save it to her back in the hideout. I think I canceled this animation to, uh, to go back into that fire. Thank you. It's more loveless. I didn't get a My Bloody Valentine album, sadly, but I already have loveless, so okay. We get our first flower girl. Excuse me. What happened? You. Um. You better get out of here. Or nothing. Hey, listen. For some reason, nothing. Hey, listen is the correct choice. I never understood that, but again, I think it's the translation. Nothing. Hey, listen. Don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only a gill. Buy one. Oh, thank you. Here you are. I bought a flower for her. Didn't she look nice? She was from the beginning cutscene. Warning. A bunch of broken up cars and stuff and... 
Yeah, no, see, that's that's the thing I think everyone's excited about with the remake. Let's talk to her. I think she gives me something. So what the hell's going on? No, so it doesn't do anything. Let's see potion. No, oh, it's on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Make your energy doesn't last forever. Make is the planet's life source. End of the site. Factors of the planet avalanche. Um, I'm not gonna actually tell you guys what's going on really in this. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys figure it out. I'll, I'll drop extra hints and give you information as it comes, but I don't want to like ruin the, the like understanding. But just in case people are watching for the first time with me, which I mean, I guess that's cool. I I'd appreciate that. That's like, but yeah. Hey, you there. Fight them or later. Uh, do you want me to go faster, Brian, or? Yeah, we are at uh, 36 minutes. Alright, later. We don't have to fight these guys. There's no reason to. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to be messing around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him. Durian never came. Durian, wonder if he was killed. No way. I love potato. Durian. Say, do you think Durian's gonna fight to the end for Avalanche? <laughs> now what I know, do I look like a mind reader? Hmm. <laughs> you all were such screw ups. Hey, Potato, what about the money? <laughs> uh, nothing, sorry. Uh. I don't, say, I don't know who said ah there. There he is, Durian. Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn, you're damn right, you're late. Who wants him here making a big scheme? Scheme? Scene? It's no big deal, that's what I always do. Shit. <laughs> Never been worried about that. You don't give a damn what no one but yourself. I didn't mean to say shit like that. But that's you know, that's 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 how that's who he is. Hmm. Hmm. You're worried about me? What? <laughs> I hope in the in the remake they have him blush here. I'm taking out of your money, hot stuff. Ooh, hot stuff. Sorry, I uh I have a really big thing with Cloud X Barrett, so Sorry, wake up, moving up, follow me. Though, hey Durian, you're great back there. <laughs> Durian will do better, even better next time. Be careful, I'll shut this. Oh, Durian, your face is pitch black. So, I also hope that there's more of, a, like, a little bit of a romance thing between Jesse and, and uh, Cloud, because it, they don't really delve into it here, but she clear, clearly has a crush on him. There you go. In the remake. That'd be really cool. Say, so, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. At the reactor back there, is I think what it actually is. Um, but anyways, uh, no, I think everyone's excited because they want to um, be, uh, they want more Minder. Last train out of Sakura uh, Station. Last stop is 6 or 7 train graveyard. Expect the time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Might get Santa. I didn't know we uh, had already gone through half an hour, Brian. I'm sorry. We got about like five more minutes. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. I'm gonna skip some dialogue, I'm sorry. Please, you're bothering all the passengers. The Bay Avalanche is gonna be famous, me too. Okay, I wanna talk to Jesse. Durian, don't you think I got a bright fridge over me? Do you have mind? On my life, I felt like nothing but a sidekick. We have to go in the Avalanche trying to save the planet. I feel like I can do lots of things. Hey, Durian, you wanna look at this with me? It's a map from bigger rails and something. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bonds matter, you know? Flashy stuff. Just 
you. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Victor. It's about a 1 10,000 scale. The top plate is about 50 meters up there. The main support structure holds the plate and up in the center, and there's another. There are other support structures built in each section. Psst. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. And there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. Eight reactors provide many work for energy. Electricity, I think is what I actually said. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgo remembers them. Instead of names, refer to them by number of sectors. What kind of place this is. Whew, this is next. Look. This is the route that this train is on. Our spells around the main support structure. We should be coming around here in the center area right now. A checkpoint and ID center device is set up. We can check the identities in the background of each and every passenger on the train by linking up to its center data bank and to the headquarters. Anyone could tell that we look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Speaking of the devil, that light means we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. Anyhow, we're almost back now, let's hurry. Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or night. That place weren't there, we could see the sky. Flooding city, pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect that. Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. Upper world, a city on a plate. It's because of that fucking pizza. <laughs> it's come up because of that pizza that people underneath are suffering. Crowley said, "God damn," because that's what he says. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone move on to the plate? I don't know. Or don't know. Probably because they ain't got no money, or maybe. I like this line. Because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know, no one lives in the slopes because they don't want to. It's like this train, it can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. Ooh. I don't want to make fun of it, I love this game. I love the dialogue in it. I actually like the dialogue butchered better than the trans properly translated version because it makes it more confusing, which adds a mystery to the game. Unintended mystery? It makes it so much better. I think that was one of the reasons that people liked this game so much, is it was just bewildering and confusing. Like... <clears throat> but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's gonna be bigger than that. Be back at the hideout. Move out. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Isn't there somewhere we could be alone? Wow. There's only the train graveyard around here and they say ghosts are around here too. Damn. What? Alright, we're gonna leave. We... I just wanted to talk to them because we're some of the best. Like the wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to this other guy later. I believe we can go to the save point before we talk to them, hopefully. Will it really not let me in here? Oh, it does, okay. Well, who the hell are you? No unauthorized access. Today's special, I'm gonna let you in on juicy bit of news, but you gotta keep it to yourself. Do you know about what's been going on? What, that again? Yep, I guess you might be sick of hearing it, but it's been so long since there was any real news here. You're worried where it's all heading, right? 
Oh my god. Alright, there's nothing I can do. You can't, you can't, you can't. You have to go through the cutscene. Okay, go ahead. Papa. Melina, are you going to say anything, Durian? Welcome home, Durian. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Potato? Yeah. I should have known. He's always pushing people around and you're always finding fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Oh, I'm not going to do... Um, I'm not going to try and get the romance option to be bare at this time. I'm probably going to pick Tifa, just because I feel like that's actually canon. But even though he's supposed to fall for Aries first, but whatever. We'll call her Barry. Tifa's my favorite character, for real, though. Berry flowers? How nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. But... Flower for me? Oh, Darian, you shouldn't have. No, babe, give it to Barry. Give it to Marlene. It's cuter to give it to Marlene, but I'm gonna give it to Barry just because. Thank you, Darian. It smells wonderful. Plus one to Tifa. Maybe you should fill the store with flowers. Sorry, Darian. Marlene seems a little shy. I talk to Marlene then. Yes. Alright, he runs in. I jump on the table, cross my legs, and literally a split second. Papa, welcome home. I love them. They're great. You were right, Potato? Great. Getting here, fools. We're starting the meeting. <laughs> she just, she just like, belly flops down there. It's great. Sit down. How about something to drink? Give me something hard. Just a minute, I'll make one for you. You know, I'm relieved you make beds. made it back safely. Let's put you all of a sudden. That wasn't even a tough job. I guess not. You were in soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Kato. Don't worry, once I get that money, I'm out of here. Durian, are you feeling alright? Yeah, why? No reason, you just look a little tired, I guess. Uh, there was actually a big cutscene change, if you look at the, like, the beta of this game, where a lot more was explained here. Which, I think it was for the best. You know, let's just go straight up to him and talk to him. Yo, Dury, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None, I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't think you're, you're so bad just because you were in Soldier. I think he said that you was in Soldier. <laughs> yeah, you're strong. Probably all those them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget your skinny ass is working for Agil Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Same with Shinra? You asked me a question, I answered it. That's all. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Shucks, money. Papa, you're so great. <laughs> Wait, Durian. Barry, let him go. Lucky he still misses the Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about either Shinra or Soldier. <laughs> well, don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Doctor. Straighten things up in there, Kind of slide a little bit backwards. It's weird when you're going up the elevator. Listen, Dorian, I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry, Barry. The planet's dying. It's literally, literally dying. Someone has to do something. So let Potato and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving? I'm just gonna walk out and ignore your childhood friend? Ignore your childhood friend? Sorry. You forgot the promise, too. Promise? 
You did forget. Remember during it was seven years ago. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Brian. It's the beginning of the game. It's just a lot of cutscenes. Look, the well. Do you remember? Yeah, back then. I thought you'd never come when I was getting a little cold. Sorry I'm late. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Come to spring and we'll leave this town for Maker. Our boys are leaving our town. Our boys. Well, every, every boy. But I'm different from all of them. I'm not just going to find a job. I'm going to be a soldier. I want to join a soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? There was no question mark. I just added it. Is that Tifa who said Sephiroth the Great Sephiroth? Because that's what I thought, and it wasn't looking. Isn't it hard to join soldiers? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. I never realized she's clearly older than him. Because she's so, like, huge here, and he's tiny. Huh? Will you be in the newspapers if you do well? I'll try. Hey, why don't we make a promise? Now, if you get really famous, I'm ever in a bind, you come save me, alright? What? Whenever I'm in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to at least experience that once. What? <laughs> it doesn't. Come on, promise me! Alright, I promise. It's cute. Remember now, don't you? Our promise? No, I don't remember. I'm not a hero, I'm not famous, I can't keep the promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier? So come on, you gotta keep your promise. He just climbs, he doesn't... Wait, wait a second, big time Soldier. A promise is a promise, here. Save potato stash. 1500 gil! my pay don't make me laugh what then you'll you got the next mission lined up I'll do it for 3,000 what it's okay it's okay Psst. we're really hurting for help right it's from Marlene's schooling oh that money's from Marlene's school I was close 2,000 thanks Darian thanks Dracula thanks Pineapple Sleep in the corner. All right, we're upstairs. Good morning, Durian. Do you sleep well? Potato snoring. I mean, next to you, who would? I don't remember what the best one is. I'm gonna do this and be a creep. I would never say this normally. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> She's just like, what? I'm going this time. I'm going this time. No, I'm talking to Marlene. Marlene! Okay, whatever. I'm going this time. I target Sector 5 Ragnar. Head to the station first. Well, you know the train. Yo, Durian. Before next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, I don't want to use material. I give you that material, I promise. I'm going to use it. Okay, I'll just it. It doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. This isn't true. Basically, how material works is do you, each weapon has a slot, and um, you can uh, uh, you get materia, they're like items, and so you get like fire materia, water materia, whatever, cure materia, and as you put them in the weapon, it has, uh, it'll take, give you a negative effect to damage usually, but it'll give a positive effect to uh, 
like the elements sometimes in certain ways. I think it gives you a positive effect on magic, but a negative effect to uh, damage. But you get to use the spell, which is just way better than anything. The, the downsides are so small compared to the upsides. So it's just, you know, better to always use it. I might even be wrong about some of the negatives. It's, they're, it's, they're just almost of no consequence. It rarely comes up. I, uh... Sorry, I wouldn't have gone through this tutorial, but I don't think you get the materia if you don't do it. Maybe you get it anyways. I don't remember. Sorry. Uh... And in Final Fantasy VIII, you can mash through tutorials, and I thought you could do that in this one. Just because I normally don't do them because I don't care, but I don't want to grind in this one, so... Yep, that's it. Um, let's remember some of the other records I got. Oh, okay, that's about it. Never mind. I'll give you advanced tips later. Shh, what's this? What's, it wasn't that tough crap. I'm clueless. Well, you made a materia then. Materia system, I got a materia. Durian, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you, don't forget. Marlene, you want to throw a work on. Alright, good luck. Take care. She's cute. I like her. Marlene's the best. Oh, there'll be, hopefully there'll be more Marlene stuff. That'd be great. Alright, let's go over here. Because up through here is... Finally. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's bouncing around. Eight point X is when you save you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this has been Final Fantasy VII. Uh, and this is Friendship Simulator. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Uh, I love this game so much, and uh, hopefully we'll continue it a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But Final Fantasy VII, great game. Yeah, durian potato and berry. Durian potato berry sounds delicious. Hey, <laughs> I'll uh, have a good. Have a good time. I'll see you guys later. Bye.